Hello everybody, this is Ton Ton here and welcome back to my Ton Ton Talk Show. This is number 4. So we have a lot of news during the other days about the announcement of the new movie masterpiece Transformer Figures which will be announced on April the 13th. So upon that, I have a few predictions I want to talk about. So we all know that they are focusing on the first Transformer movie first, then they're gonna move to Revenge of the Fallen. So in my list, there are a few Transformer figures we haven't seen in the movie masterpiece scale. First we have Brawl, then Blackout, Bone Crusher, Frenzy, Scorponok and Ratchet. And other than that, we have the first movie masterpiece figure which is Starscream. But that is just more like a leader upscaling into the movie masterpiece. So in my prediction, the highest chance would be a movie masterpiece Ratchet or another movie masterpiece Starscream which will be the 2.0. And then or maybe they will announce both just like with the uh, set back times with Megatron and Jazz. So what Autobots? what Decepticons. So what am I expecting here? So we all know that the movie masterpiece line is famous for the transforming sequences which is kind of like they try to make it closest to the movie as possible. So what I hope here is that they can recreate that rotating body parts of Ratchet onto place. That would be really nice. Upon a to start scream, I'm very curious to see what they can improve because as we all know with that shape of Starscream transforming him it's not that difficult but they manage at the best at the leader version so what am I hoping now is that they're gonna try to do something special here you know or might even the worst scenario is they difficult up the transformation a little bit then add some accessories that is for Starscream and Ratchet about the other figures which are all Decepticons so I think the problem here with Brawl and Blackout here is that they are really big figures but they are also sub characters because of the, their size the price is gonna be high but they are not the main characters so and so like anybody gonna buy it like Megatron Megatron is really big but he is Megatron so they bought him for that reason but to Brawl and Blackout here I'm not too sure Another option is Bone Crusher. You know, I also doesn't want to count him in because he appears for like what? 5 minutes or like 3 minutes in the movie. And out of that, the only noticeable thing about him is that he got his head cut out by Optimus. So I'm quite curious about if they're gonna do it or not. The last option is Frenzy and Scorponox. So here's the thing, they can transform but they both made some honorable action sequence in the movie. So what I'm predicting is this, they might release these two figures in one set in a small scale. Because remember, Frenzy will be at the size of a human as Scorponok can transform. So I think they're gonna release a package and then they're gonna add it to the same price or even lower like Jazz because Jazz is a small figure. So they might do that, that is only my prediction. We will know on the 13th of April, which is the upcoming week. And after the announcement, I will make a video to see what is up. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is the Studio Series Sentinel. We all saw the, the reviews and the image. We all know that hit source are terrible. They are they force it onto the transformation. So probably they're gonna do an upgrade kit about it. And so I think they're gonna sew the sword, the shield, and the his blaster as well. And that would be nice. I hope DNA gonna do that. Because if they're gonna do that, they have my support here. Because to be honest with you, I don't normally buy third-party add-ons. But then with the Sentinel Prime case, I think that is a must-do. Because that is the iconic weapons of Sentinel. They're gonna, I think they're gonna release a pack of sword, the shield and the blaster in the future. And I don't think that they're gonna, gonna try to squeeze it onto the transformation. So just leave it outside so he can hold it and pose it. That would be really nice. And talking about add-ons, recently DNA has also announced about the add-on trailer for the Studio Series Optimus. So that would be the completely new package of the trailer. So which means if you already has the Studio Series Optimus, the Revenge of the Fallen version. You can buy that. But what is nice about this is they fix everything. They give you the proper guns. The jetpack looks better. And they also give you the brass knuckle. So if you are looking for recreating some diorama thing, anything with like Optimus and Sentinel, this is your option. And the final things I want to talk about today is the another Bumblebee's figures. So as you know, since the Bumblebee movie got released, in uh, 2018 a lot of companies and third parties are trying their best to recreate the figures so you have a uh, 3a with the very movie accurate figures but ca uh, unfortunately can transform you have the movie piece bumblebee 
which is sucks because that is a direct copy from the another Bumblebee figure, the old movie masterpiece. So I have what I have for you here today is, is the Pioneer, which is a uh, product from Zeta Toys. So as you can see from all this image, this Bumblebee is really movie accurate and be able to transform. So it means that they improve their whole transformation gimmicks and everything. So this is a really movie accurate figure. And if I'm gonna get this figure, you're gonna get a more detailed look onto it. But that will be it for today. So I will make another talk show after the announcement of the new movie masterpiece figure. And up to then, stay tuned for another review of mine. So I'll see you guys later. Ta-ta now.